everybody. The other day we picked up a new Short Range Plus and uh, well here we are, we're going to dyno it. Uh, on the way home we noticed that it felt pretty fast. Um, in fact, maybe faster than Sasha's long range. So uh, we took to the internet and we found that uh, the 0 060 time listed is slower. Uh, we couldn't find a, a real curb weight. Um, we found that it, some people were thinking it could be software limited. It might have a different inverter than the long range. Um, so, you know, there's only one way to find out. So we're going to dyno the car and uh, we'll do a little dyno room speculation. And then after that, Sasha's going to sit down and uh, really go over the data and uh, see what we find. See that? See how it perfectly matches? Literally identical. What about over here? Right, so the torque is less, and then it has a more efficient state of field weakening, so the inverter starts adding current here, because if it didn't start adding current, it would drop off like this. But since it doesn't drop off like this, it's slowly adding current and then it finally maxes out the inverter right there. See that difference? This is an inverter that's already maxed out and just can't give any more. And this is an inverter that hits field weakening but then starts adding more current. So it could have had more torque. It could have been out here. Dino Jesse's standard range plus here, uh, various different states of charge, similar to what we did with our long range car when we got it. And it's interesting to note that uh, it, it does what's expected in that it has just less torque, so the inverter is just commanding less current up until field weakening. But what's different is with the uh, the long range car, once it went into field weakening you can see here in the dashed blue line the power kind of peaked and then fell off right away. Whereas the standard range plus car it maintains this flatter power here, if you can see the cursor, for a longer period of time. So what we're looking at right here is the solid line is Jesse's car at 75% at, uh, state of charge and the dashed line is a long range car at 75% state of charge. So what you see with this flat line of the power with it not dropping off and then finally having another knee there where it, it then follows the same trend as the long range car, it kind of makes us wonder if maybe Tesla's injecting a little bit more current at this point from the inverter to try and keep the power from falling off so much. And, and that would make sense because Tesla kind of wants to give an advertised amount of power that 
goes over a higher speed range. So as you go over 11,000 RPM would be about 140 kilometers an hour, maybe 80 miles per hour. Tesla doesn't want to give you a car that then falls on its face and drops down to 150 horsepower. So they're going to maybe, speculating here, turn up the uh, current going to the motor at higher speed to try and keep the power from falling off as much. Uh, since we're assuming that the inverter is just software limited anyways, since it should, at these lower RPMs, it should have the ability to make close to this 320 pound-feet of torque. Um, so we're seeing 285. So that's a 10% difference give or take. So what might be happening is as the motor starts to go into field weakening here the inverter starts just adding a little bit of that 10% current back in and then eventually kind of giving it almost everything it's got perhaps with the difference of the different type of switching if the uh, silicon carbide inverters are only in the long range vehicle then that might explain that small power difference but it is definitely a different shape of the curve with this little bump and fall off versus this flat plateau. And we even saw that here at 90% state of charge where if we compare here so 90% state of charge is a solid line and there's really no difference in power at all except for when field weakening fully engages up here. So it it's, does seem to be a different trend than what we saw with the long range car. And so maybe it's just Tesla trying to give a flatter power uh, over a larger speed range than, than they can do with a fully maxed out motor.